Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa saluted the people of Bahrain, hailing their patriotic feelings, sincere belonging and keenness on their country's security, stability, vital interests and hard-won achievements. He extended deepest thanks to all social segments, citing particularly government departments, security agencies, community centers, matams and officials in charge of them. The royal tribute came in due to the deplorable violations which marred the Shashura season, as well as the measures which were undertaken and the sincere patriotic feelings and stances which were expressed by all social segments. His Majesty the King said that the homeland is a trust whose protection is a responsibility which lies with all people at all walks of life, urging loyal citizens to stand united and throttle the cause of evil, incitement and sedition, which are dictated from abroad to harm the nation. His Majesty the King said the love of the homeland, the spirit of belonging and sincere national pride are all in it and rep or represent a religious duty and patriotic responsibility. He took pride in the patriotism shown by loyal citizens in defending their country's security, safety and sovereignty in difficult times. He affirmed that the rule of the law will be enforced strictly against those who prey on the homeland and choose to obey foreign directives which are dictated from abroad. His Majesty stated that it is the duty of all citizens to be vigilant and serve as shields to protect the homeland and join ranks to throttle any threat to the nation and deter anyone who attempts to harm Bahrain. He paid tribute to all rulers of Bahrain, hailing their recommendations which are today inspiring the management of the homeland's national interest. He paid homage to the late His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, recalling his memorable patriotic stances to heed divine respect and people's rights and take thought for decisions to right the wrong and render justice. His Majesty the King added that the violations which marred the Ashura season have ended and the perpetrators have been identified and legal measures have been taken. His Majesty the King said that that the violations should not be repeated, hailing Bahrain's lofty ethics and dedication in throttling division or decisive calls. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghalibiya Palace a number of officials, businessmen, citizens, media personnel, intellectuals, journalists who hailed the government's support of citizens. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has made many achievements, stressing that the capabilities of the Bahraini people has enabled the Kingdom to gain a global status in political, media, cultural, medical, sports and professional fields. His Royal Highness praised the awareness and openness of the Bahraini people and pointed out that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, is heading towards further development and prosperity, which is a continuation of the achievements made in the era of His Majesty the King, which continues to achieve leadership in various fields. His Royal Highness expressed his aspirations to provide the best services to the Bahraini citizen. His Royal Highness expressed the government's pride in Bahraini citizens lauding their contribution to development. He added that the Bahraini citizens are the pillars of development and basis for advancement. The Prime Minister noted that all international praise for the achievements of Bahrain is a tribute to its citizens. His Royal Highness stresses the citizens' awareness of all the plots against the kingdom and also noted that the challenges faced by Bahrain are proof of the honorable positions of its people.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the members of the athletics and handball teams and the administrative mission to the Eighth Asian Games, which recently concluded in Indonesia. The represent or the reception was attended by the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Askar. The members of the Olympic Committee's Board of Directors. President and members of Bahrain Handball Association, Board of Directors, and members of Bahrain Athletics Association's Board of Directors, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, stated that the achievements made by the athletics and handball teams in the Asian Games are a result of the support the Bahraini sports movement receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that His Majesty the King follows up on various national teams and takes pride in their achievements. His Highness added that the unprecedented achievements made during the Asian Games embody the development development of Bahraini sports on the Asian level expressing pride in the honorable achievements. The Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for encouraging all athletes in Bahrain which results in the development of Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser received a commemorative gift from the BOC Secretary General.
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first week competitions of Nasser bin Hamad Marine Heritage Championship concluded today on His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's Cup, which witnessed the competitions of fishing and traditional paddling. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the effective participation of Bahrain youth in the competitions of Affirming that the wide participation is a result of the youth's interest in traditional sports. He expressed keenness on translating His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives of supporting and promoting uh, traditional sports in the kingdom. Zainal Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners, hailing the high level performances they gave during the competitions and wishing the other participants better luck in the upcoming competitions. The sons of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, and the sons of the first. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Faisal, and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah honored the winners. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Amazon Web Service at the AWS Summit in the Kingdom, which began this morning at the Ritz Carlton Hotel in the presence of a number of ministers, senior officials from the public and private sectors, and senior officials from AWS. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak expressed pleasure in inaugurating the summit and in the kingdom's hosting of the event for the second time. He hailed the vital role of the EDB in attracting direct investments to the kingdom to develop the economic sectors and create high quality jobs in the local market, wishing the summit and the participants success. For her part, the Vice President of the Worldwide Public Sector of the AWS, Teresa Carlson, expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for patronizing the summit and for his continuous support. She expressed aspirations for inaugurating the first data Center for AWS in the Middle East and Bahrain next year.
Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of Bahrain, Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, has directed the Southern Tourism Company to prepare an integrated program to ensure the operation of Hawar Beach Hotel and attract more visitors all year round, resulting in the positive growth achieved following the directive of His Majesty the King to transfer Hawar Islands to a major touristic destination. The Deputy PM tasked the company to coordinate and cooperate with the Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions. BTEA on the preparations of the program that will boost the company's strategy and its efforts in attracting more tourist delegations visiting Bahrain, especially between December and February. According to the latest data published by Southern Tourism Company during the period from January to August 2018, the number of guests of Hawar Beach Hotel climbed to 108%. The statistic figures showed that the hotel occupancy ratio climbed to 126% in August 2018. The hotel received 1,100 guests during that month, which is considered a record number compared with the previous year. The hotel rooms increased to 370 from 163 in August 2017. The hotel occupancy ratio is considered quite high compared with the number of its rooms and suites. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa delivered Bahrain's speech yesterday at the 73rd session United Nations General Assembly in which he discussed numerous local, regional and international topics. The Foreign Minister said that Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attaches great importance to the implementation of all programs and plans aimed at raising the standard of living and development of its citizens and residents and keeping pace with international efforts to achieve goals of sustainable development. He said Bahrain has succeeded in reducing the effects of the economic challenges due to the efforts of economic diversification and its financial monetary policies and attracting investments, which reflected positively on the Bahraini economy, which is currently classified according to the International Monetary Fund, is one of the fastest growing regions in the region. In the framework of close cooperation with the United Nations, he said His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued the decision to establish the coordination and follow-up committee between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UN agencies as one of the strategic partnership results for the years of 2018 to 2020 signed between the two sides and that Bahrain submitted its first voluntary report on the implementation of the goals of sustainable development 2030 a few weeks ago through its participation in New York in the work of the high-level political forum on sustainable development. Development. He also noted to Bahrain's election to the NGO committee for the period from 2019 to 2022 was an international recognition of His Majesty's policy on consolidating rights and freedoms and supporting joint efforts to achieve the goals and purposes of the United Nations. In continuation of its international contributions and keenness to cooperate with United Nations bodies, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been nominated for the membership of the Human Rights Council for the third time from 2019 to 2021, reaffirming its policy of promoting respect for human rights and safeguarding freedoms in accordance with international standards. The Foreign Minister also said that during the 62nd session of the UN Commission on the Status of Women, the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women's Empowerment Award was launched to highlight the efforts to achieve equal opportunities for women and men in the world. He underlined the need to build a strong political, economic and military alliance among the responsible countries in the region in order to safeguard the security and safety of states and their people and to deter all those who seek to undermine the stability of this strategic region, which face various threats, primarily those emanating from the regime in Iran. The foreign minister said that uh, while efforts must be made to find common mechanisms to ensure collective security in the Middle East, we find another source that hampers these efforts and threatens the security and stability of the region, Qatar, which continues to insist on its policies and practices that run counter to the concept of collective security based on spreading and feeding terrorism and trying to overthrow national regimes and in seeking to destroy them and sink them into chaos. He expressed the hope that Qatar will return to its senses and affirm its goodwill and demonstrate its efforts to be a positive member of the region by responding to the demands of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Egypt, which are consistent with the established foundations of international law and the principles of good neighborliness and respect. 
on Yemen, he said Bahrain is committed to its steadfast position as an active member of the Arab coalition for the support of legitimacy in Yemen since its establishment to restore security and peace in Yemen and assisting the Yemeni people in all aspects to ensure the unity and independence of Yemen and its territorial integrity and end international interference in its internal affairs, especially those dangerous interventions by the Iranian regime to reach a political solution involving all the bases and based on the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanisms and outputs of the National Dialogue and UN Security Council Resolution Number 2216 on Syria. The foreign minister emphasized the need to reach a political solution to the Syrian crisis with effective participation and strong Arab role in order to enable the state to impose its control and sovereignty over all its territory and to eliminate terrorist groups in all its forms, especially those supported by Iran, such as Hezbollah and others. Concerning Iraq, he stressed the need to stop regional interference in its internal affairs, in particular armed militias, terrorist organizations and groups. On Libya, he renewed the first position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in support of all efforts aimed at rebuilding the country and consolidating the military institution to be able to provide protection, defend Libya and address all forms of terrorism and preserve the unity and territorial integrity of Libya. And on Morocco, Bahr said that Bahrain stands with Morocco against the blatant conspiracies and interferences of Iran in its internal affairs and supports the serious efforts exerted by Morocco to find a political solution to the Moroccan Sahara issue on the basis of the Moroccan Autonomy Initiative and the relevant Security Council resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the President of the 73rd Session of the United Nations General Assembly, Maria Fernanda Espinosa Garcia. The United Nations had headquarters in New York. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed sincere congratulations to the President of the UN General Assembly on being elected as President of the current session of the General Assembly, wishing her success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the firm policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop means of communication and cooperation with the United Nations. He also hailed the advanced vision and constructive ideas put forward by Maria Fernanda before the United Nations General Assembly on achieving peace and security in the Middle East and the world through dialogue and mutual understanding, as well as facing the various challenges of the international community. For her part, the President of the General Assembly expressed her appreciation for the Kingdom's efforts at the regional and international levels, which reflects its belief in collective action as a successful mechanism in dealing with the challenges facing the countries of the world. She also praised the development of the Kingdom in various fields. During the meeting, they discussed the latest development in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Undersecretary General for Partnerships at the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, Dr. Jamila Mahmoud, who has previously won the Sheikh Isa Award for Service to Humanity. The Foreign Minister hailed the important humanitarian role of the IFRC in providing assistance and elevating the humanitarian, the humanitarian suffering of many people and societies, as well as contributing to the promotion of human dignity, peace, and supporting development efforts in the world. He also expressed the appreciation of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the relief efforts of the Federation. Dr. Jamila Mahmoud expressed appreciation for the humanitarian contributions of the Kingdom of Bahrain at the regional and international levels, noting the remarkable role played by the Royal Charity Organization and Bahrain Red Crescent Society in the fields of relief and support to those in need and those affected by natural disasters, wars and conflicts. She affirmed the keenness of the IFRC to further develop its cooperation in partnership with the Kingdom of Bahrain regarding humanitarian activities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Cuba, Bruno Rodriguez Parella. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister highlighted the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Cuba and noted the importance of enhancing them in all fields to achieve common interests. He expressed hope for stronger and more developed joint cooperation for the benefit of both countries and people. For his part, the Cuban Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed the Republic of Cuba's keenness to further develop its relationship with the Kingdom of Bahrain at various levels. He also valued the Kingdom's efforts towards achieving international peace and security, noting its progress in all areas of development. 
The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Abdullah Khalaf, inspected the voters' lists, which are displayed at the municipalities in the southern, northern and Muharraq governance. He was accompanied by municipal officials, the President of Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, LLOC, Executive Director of Municipal Election, Chancellor Nawaf Abdullah Hamza, and announced the establishment of teams at each municipality to facilitate election publicity, publicly or publicity, promote candidates' awareness, issue licenses for electoral tents, and provide required support. The minister announced the appointment of uh, Asim Abdel Latif as coordinator in a ten tandem with the High Election Committee to organize and coordinate municipal municipal publicity campaigns. The ministry urged full commitment to the Law 77 of 2006 on regulating parliamentary and municipal polls. He said that up to 1,200 volunteers will be required on the day of the elections. The terms for selecting volunteers were posted on the elections portal on Instagram and the electronic site. He announced that youngsters have started submitting their application to volunteer in the upcoming parliamentary and municipal polls. The Media Committee for the 2018 elections organized an event to review the voters list in the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to encourage citizens of frequenting the ministry and employees to ensure that their names are on the voters list. Voters can also check their names through the website or visit the supervisory centers for candidacy until October 3rd in the four governance.